what's going on card runners today I'm going to show you a deck profile deck of the big cat from the trial deck we start with the starter let's do what all other starters do our grade one so when you write upon this you can remove the top card and if it's a grade two or less you can call it on rear uh, other grade two that's from the trial deck when this card's wider top on uh, so bright, check the top card and you can call it to the rear I think and if not put it into hand I'm pretty sure that one you have to put in the draw then at grade 3 this is pretty good uh, when after the, it attacks counter boss choose one of your units in the back row and it gains 5k and it can attack from the back row but if you persona wide so if you ride on top you can choose 3 units so that pretty much your entire back row can attack if you have 3 back rows now three from our main deck. Make sure your main deck is different sleeves to your wide deck. I want three in the main deck just so I can sonar wide and use its skill more often. Four of him. He's from the trial deck as well. When you have a full field, so four rear guards and himself, which is five rear guards, this unit gains 5k. It's also a counter. And he doesn't have to work on your turn, so he'll be a 5k on your opponent's turn as well. As long as you have a full field. Three from my main deck. He's pretty good when he's in the back row. You can just soul bars and you get him 10k. So it's a 20k beater in the back row, plus his skill gives him another 5, so it's 25 in the back row. So if your opponent does pull a defensive trigger, which will be 23, you still can hit. I want four of our unicorn. He's just so great. Retire him and choose two of the units and gains 5k. Just make to make sure if your opponent pulls one defensive trigger, he does not um, stop you. Because 5k from him and 5k from him makes 10. And then another five will just give it to someone else who can do like some power up so it doesn't disappear. Uh, three of her, she's really good. So when place from rear, from hand, so when you place it from hand to rear, counter by soul bars, choose a grade 2 or less when you drop and call it to the rear and then 5k to that unit until the end of turn. Which is really good. You want to bring back like either Mantis or like just something back like even this or this. Did just give it an extra 5 and then your grade 3 will give it another 5. I want four of him. I was running three, but there was a couple of stages that all three of them was hitting my damage zone and I couldn't see any of them. So one and four is fine because just a lot of times I see it in my damage instead of my hand. I at least want to pull one or two off, not just none or something. But yeah, just because you have like a bunch of hand doesn't mean you have to call them on the field. He's really good. He's a counter boss and you choose one of the other units and he gains the same power as this to another one. So if you put a miracle trigger on this, it'll be a hundred mil and then attack counter boss and you can transfer another hundred mil to someone else. So it's pretty good. You just transfer power, not crits though, so just remember that. One in three of him. He's pretty good, so when he's attacking in the back row, he gains 5k. And if you use this card too, to make sure he attacks in the back row, it'll become an 18k beater, so that's good. Unless our opponent put a defensive trigger. But that's why you got units that can gain plus 5 to a lot of back rows. So I want to Mantis, when Mantis is placed on wheel, 5k to one of your units. You can want four if you want. I just feel like two is fine with me just because I want the unicorn. Four PGs. You want to want this PG, but I only have two as you can tell. The others are in my Zogar deck. So, I want to want four of them. One over trigger. This over trigger is alright. So, when you drive check this, you can draw one card. And then heal one damage, 10k to the front row. Hold up, there's actually something I actually need to tell you about this card. So when you drive check this, 100 mil to a unit, obviously, draw one card. 
And then for the end of the turn, one of your units, yeah, units, gains a crit. And then your front row gains a 10. So it doesn't say the end of turn for the 10k. So that means your tire regards gain 10k in the front row. Just make sure if your front row does get retired and then the 10k disappears, it's not to the circle, it's to your regards, to your units. And then if you have more or equal damage, you heal. It doesn't say equal, it needs to say equal, which is an e-rider. So yeah, just make sure with that. Two draws, just because sometimes I do want to see draws and get my pieces, because keeping a full field, especially if you get a deck that retires or just prison cards, it's pretty hard to do. Now, this is a bit different. I actually won the six fronts, just because they mainly for defensive trigger as well and to power up. So if someone hits my vanguard, I want my entire front row to gain an extra 10, so it makes it harder for my opponent to attack my rear guards after they attack my vanguard. And the other thing is, if my opponent pulls the defensive trigger and I put a front trigger, it makes it hard to guard because I'm doing six attacks. Just make sure it's a front row because it powers up the front row, not the back row. And I usually attack with my vanguard first before attack with my rears. Three crits, just in case I see one to get crits. Most of the time I want fronts, but crits are fine. And then four heal triggers, just because it's heal triggers. And that's all of the cat deck.